New year, new ideas and a brand new roadmap. Today I would like to talk about the 2024 roadmap of PrimeView, what you may expect and what's coming up. The most important part is the new styled mode. We have been using SAS for styling of the components, but uh, it's time to upgrade it to a newer and more modern approach. And that's where the new styled mode comes in. It will be based on CSS variables and the moving joins the core. Right now it's a separate repository. And now uh, with the new approach, and we are also migrating SAS variables to CSS variables and also creating a new theming API it, that's easy to use and easy to customize. And that's one of the biggest things. And it's the nice thing is that it's backward compatible. So this is coming up in PrimeView 4, but you will be able to use PrimeView 3 themes with the, the SAS versions that's generated by SAS. You'll be able to use them with PrimeView 4 as well. So we are upgrading the theming uh, in a backward compatible way and we will uh, maintain SAS for a long time, probably until the end of 2024. And the Tailwind CSS project, pro project is going really well and now we are almost uh, close to the finish line and we will create a new preset as well. Right now there are two main groups, the Lara and Vince, and there, there is a new preset called Aura is coming up as well. And um, thank you for your you know, support for the Tailwind CSS pro uh, project because the reception was really nice. And because you'll be able to use uh, the Tailwind uh, with, to style Prime View classes directly, so which, which is like a kind of game changer for the unstyled core of Prime View as well. Of course, you can use the unstyled core with other uh, CSS libraries as well, like Bootstrap. So another thing that I'm really excited about is, is the new components we are working on. I mean, UI component development is the best thing we do, but in the last year we have focused on styling, the core enhancements, the developer experience, the documentation. But right now we are back to what we are best at and that's component development, right? And we are uh, come, we are we will be providing layout components uh, like grid, box, and typography, like text. These are all responsive, so um, you may not even need a CSS library like Tailwind in case uh, you're not using that for these purposes. You will be able to use these components. There's a meter group, drawer, content for steps, um, input field. The many things are coming up, so stay tuned for the cool features. And the form states are also getting some updates. Each field, the input component will get a field prop. Right now, it's a global configuration. Now it will be done in a particular way using the components and invalid property will be added as well so that we can have some proper styling for failed validations because many form libraries uh, that integrate with PrimeView are kind of asking for something like this. And Figma UI tokens, uh, we will be updating our Figma uh, UI kit based on the new style mode. There's uh, the design of the new style mode is inspired by uh, the new uh, UI kit trends, the Figma UI component development. So there's the primitive tokens, um, semantic tokens, and the component tokens. Based on this three tiered architecture, we will use uh, this on our Figma. Plus, we will implement it in the style mode, which means we will be able to generate themes from Figma directly, which is coming up. And the new showcase, I mean, showcase is like a living organism. Uh, it needs to be taken care of. It needs to be updated constantly, and we are doing that. Uh, the, the user requests from the community is more like how to, uh, it's more like providing more examples about real life examples, like the lazy loading with the backend. Now we have migrated our showcase to Next, then we will be able to provide these examples as well. So new examples on um, data, uh, real data with a real backend are coming up. And the prime blocks are, I mean, it's one of the biggest news of this year. We are migrating the blocks to Tailwind due to community demand. And right now we have 400 and all of them will be, we have written a small AI tool to migrate them to Tailwind. And we will also provide a 85 new blocks. They are like really, really nice. Our design team has been working on this. And there is a new online app. Right now you will you're, you just need to download the blocks and run it locally. And we are moving it to online so that you can just get it and access it online without uh, requiring a download. 
and the new design uh, um, designer, the current one is uh, removed because it was unmaintainable, designer.primeview.org, because uh, the new start mode will have, as you know, we are moving away from SAS, so we will have a brand new designer. It will be a SaaS app as well, where you, you will be able to log in, create themes. Uh, it will have two modes, one more start mode, another one for unstart mode. The unstart mode will use probably Tailwind uh, to style the components. And the start mode, th this is a live editor. The live editor will generate uh, themes on the fly, so you will be able to see uh, what you are designing instantly, which is quite cool. It's like what you see, what you get editor kind of thing. And it's planned for um, the second quarter as well. If we go to the second quarter, uh, RTL mode is coming up. We have postponed it because we were waiting for the new start mode. But once it's done, I think RTL, we can uh, tackle it in a couple of weeks. It will just take a couple of weeks uh, using the newest uh, CSS techniques, like uh, because there's new properties to handle these, uh, which will make our life easier. Uh, drag and drop utilities, uh, we need this and I know that uh, view users need something like this as well uh, because we need this one to implement drag drop for tree like a Kanban app, uh, sortable lists and so on. We definitely need this and we will probably create directives for this one like v draggable and v droppable. And after summer in, in the third quarter and the fourth one we will uh, get back to, as I mentioned, what we are best at, which is UI component development. And this time we will tackle uh, heavy duty stuff like sheet, fully editable, uh, highly performant table for data processing, an event calendar. Maybe we will rename the calendar, current calendar to date picker to avoid confusing, uh, to avoid confusion. And the next ones will be gun chart, flow chart, HTML editor, and so on. So we are bringing the um, the, the big guns uh, by the end of the year. So, and many libraries have like small components like avatar selects, tab views, accordions, but uh, our expertise is on UI component development. So that's where I think Prime View will also shine as well by the end of the year. So a lot of things to do, but we are excited. Uh, we will also join some conferences and we will put up a guide to uh, to, to invite you to the project, we will put up a guide to as a contribution guide because uh, it's time for PrimeView to open itself more. And we will definitely, because we definitely need help on uh, in the issue tracker, um, in the uh, community discussions, um, Discord and things like that. And we will also need some things from the community, especially for the, for example, uh, Tailwind CSS preset for material design. I mean, that will be a killer feature, but uh, in case we don't have enough resources, we will definitely want to uh, work with the community. So we will put up a guide uh, about how to contribute and what are the uh, points that uh, help are needed. So that's it. Um, keep an eye on PrimeView. I think the next last year was the year that PrimeView was finally picked up by the community. And this year is the year that it will be, I think our goal is to make it a de facto standard. In Prime Faces, we have a saying, you don't, one doesn't simply use JSF without Prime Faces. And now our idea is to move it to the Prime View, view ecosystem as well, so that people say uh, by the end of the year, one does not simply use Vue.js without Prime View. That's the goal, the best or nothing. See you later.